wishes to learn more about geometry. Do you think the LK-14 teacher compute is charged up yet? Well, I'm not too charged up about his wisecracks, but this geometry business is pretty interesting. Let's go find out. <laughs> Here goes. Let's see if he's ready. Thanks. I needed that. I feel like a new robot. I wish you were. No time for your insults, Jetson. I have much information to impart. Great. Let's get going. Uh, what's next? Let us resume with polygons. The word polygon comes from two Greek words. Polis means many, and gonia means angle. Therefore, a polygon is a closed figure with three or more angles. Polygons have the same number of sides as they have angles. The vertices of the angles are the vertices of the polygon. Let us look at various polygons. Triangles have three sides and, of course, three angles. There are even special names for some triangles. Those whose angles are all acute, less than 90 degrees, are called Acute triangles. It certainly is a cute triangle. Please, my circuitry cannot withstand your bad jokes. Hmm. A triangle with an obtuse angle is called an obtuse triangle. A triangle with a right angle, one of 90 degrees, is called a right triangle. Its longest side, which is always opposite the right angle, is called the hypotenuse. The two shorter sides are called legs. A triangle with two sides of equal length is called an isosceles triangle. The two equal sides are called legs. The third side is the base. If a triangle has all three sides equal in length, it is called an equilateral triangle. I think you've covered all the possibilities of triangles. Yeah, uh, how about four-sided figures? A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. Quad means four. Special names are given to quadrilaterals depending on the relationship of the sides and the size of the angles. What are they? I am getting to that, Elroy. A quadrilateral with only two of the sides parallel is called a trapezoid. If both pairs of sides are parallel, then it is a parallelogram. Well, I didn't need a telegram to figure that out. Please, Jetson, bad puns do not compute. If a parallelogram has one right angle, all four angles must also be right angles. If they were not, the sides would not be parallel. Parallelograms with right angles are rectangles and squares. If both pairs of sides are not equal length, then the right angle parallelogram is called a rectangle. If the rectangle has four equal sides, it is called a square. Boy, you must have four equal sides and four right angles, because you're certainly a square. Speaking as a computer, I must tell you that you give the human race a bad name. Hey, will you guys cut out the arguing? Now, what about polygons with, with more than four sides? Polygons with more than four sides have names that end in A, G, O, N. They begin with a prefix that indicates the number of sides. How well, about some examples? Of course, that is part of my function. Pentagon is the name for a five-sided polygon. Pent is from the Greek word for five. A six-sided polygon is a hexagon. Hex means six. An octagon is an eight-sided polygon. The name is derived from the Greek word for eight, Octo. So that's what polygons are, huh? Yes, polygons can be found all over. An historical example are these traffic signs. And of course in architecture. Those then are the basic geometric shapes and terms. Didn't you forget something? Impossible. What about the circle? I am embarrassed. Believe it or not, Jetson is correct. <laughs> a circle is a closed curve. All points on this closed curve are the same distance from the center point of the circle. Gee, okay. 
May you better draw me a picture? With pleasure. Here is a circle. It is a closed curve. Right. It is unbroken. There are no openings in it. Right again. I am now showing the center point of the circle. If you measure from that point to the curve, the distance will be the same anywhere you measure. I get it. Um, uh, sure. Here we go again. Jetson, get a piece of string, a nail, and a pencil. Okay. Tie the nail to one end of the string. Make a loop in the other end that will hold the pencil. Now, place the nail point on a piece of paper. Rotate the pencil around the nail as you draw a closed curve. You have made a circle. The nail was at the center point. The string was the fixed distance at all points. Hey, that's pretty clever. I certainly am. I wasn't talking about you, I... There are two more terms to investigate. Perimeter and area. Around and inside. What? The boy is obviously way ahead of you. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. Area is the space inside a figure. If you wish to know how far Astro goes when he runs around the edge of his pen, you would need to calculate its perimeter. If you were going to put new Cosmo carpeting on the floor of this room, you would need to know its area. That would be the amount of space the floor occupies. How do you find uh, areas in the improvers? I am not programmed with this information. For the low, low price of $29.95, you may purchase an additional module. That figures. I'll go get one. Meanwhile, run LK-14's mini-scan and get a capsule replay of the lesson. Okay. Begin capsule replay. A plane is a flat surface which extends endlessly in all directions. Point means a position a particular spot on a line or plane. It is represented by a dot. In geometry, a line means a straight line that goes on forever in both directions. A ray has one end point and continues indefinitely in the other direction. A line segment is a piece of a line marked with two known end points. When two lines, rays, or line segments cross each other, they are said to intersect. If two lines or rays do not intersect, they are parallel. An angle is formed by two rays with a common end point. Angles are measured for the amount of opening between rays in units called degrees. This is a 90 degree angle or a right angle. An angle less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. An angle which measures between 90 and 180 degrees is an obtuse angle. Polygons are closed figures of three or more sides. A polygon of three sides is a triangle. Specially named triangles are acute, obtuse, right, isosceles, and equilateral triangles. A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral with two parallel sides is a trapezoid. If both pairs of sides are parallel, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If a parallelogram has right angles, it is a rectangle. If a rectangle has equal length sides, it is a square. Polygons with more than four sides are named with a prefix indicating the number of sides. The names end in A-G-O-N. A circle is a closed curve. All points on the curve are equal distance from the center point. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. Area is the amount of space which a figure occupies. End of review. Boy, that was a mouthful, LK-14. You are telling me. I could go for a little relaxation. What do you want to do? I think I will read an interesting wiring diagram.
Maybe I will munch on some nuts and bolts and wash them down with a can of high-grade oil. <laughs>